So, one second, let me check whether everything is okay here. Uh, on, on, perfect. So the big picture of the BTP and with a specific focus on SAP build. Agenda is technological innovations at large, SAP's cloud strategy, big picture of BTP and the necessity of clean core. Please note, clean core, very important. Now, on stock versus side-by-side -side extensibility and the details, we will see them. The first one is the technological changes. By 2030, 50 billion connected smart devices will be there. What it means is 50 billion smart connected devices on every single day will be collecting the data, analyzing the data, and sharing the data. In that sort of environment, innovations are inevitable in every aspect of life. The same is true even with the business. Now, let's see. And we all know what happened during COVID um, around four years back. There was virus in the external environment and the business businesses that couldn't adopt their policies, strategies and processes in line with the changes in the external environment suffered big losses. We know that. And we know the recent um, generative AI example as well. Around a year back, nobody knows what is generative AI or chat GPT. In the span of 12 months, it's all there in everyone's life. Even if you are not using chat GPT or generative AI as a person at individual level, it is there in the tools that you are working at workplace. For example, SAP, it is there. The point is any company or business that cannot adopt its processes and strategies or policies in line with the changes that are happening in the external environment cannot sustain it in long run. Here is the question, in fact. I think SAP announced Joule in the month of September 2023. And by the middle of um, uh, November last month, it could introduce Joule in success factors. And it's also there in SAP build, which we are going to see in a while. The question is, why SAP within a span of three months could include Joule in success factors, and it's already there in uh, build code, but we are not sure when it would be available on S4 HANA on-premise. Maybe it takes six months or one year, and I'm not sure even after one and a half year, it would be available. Why? The simple reason is because SuccessFactor is a cloud-based platform. Because BTP and build code are cloud-based platforms. So the point I'm trying to drive is two things. One is companies that are that cannot adopt its processes and do required changes according to the changes that are happening in the external system cannot sustain. Point one. Point two. It is possible only the application is on cloud-based. If it is on-premise, it takes long time. And in certain cases, even if it is not, even and it is not possible, in fact. So the point is SAP can't sustain in isolation being on-premise when the trend is cloud. Cloud is the only way. Now, SAP understood this very well. That's the reason. SAP is betting very big on cloud. If you see their Q3 2023 cloud revenue, it was 3.1 billion euros. If you annualize it for a year, it would be 12.4 billion euro. But their 2025 target is 21.5 billion from cloud. You see, this is almost over 9 billion increase in the span of just two years. Okay, just two years. On any parameter, this is very ambitious target. But SAP is promoting their cloud products all in all. So now let's see what are their top cloud products. There, there are many, but the top ones are s Cloud and then BTP, Business Technology Platform. To promote these two cloud products, they have come up with two different packages. 
promotion packages. They are raise with SAP and grow with SAP. The objective of these, these are raise with SAP and grow with SAP are not products, they are packages. As part of those packages, they give the um, core S4 HANA or cloud uh, um, application and also they add BTP. Please note, with these two products, BTP is by default there. And on BTP, SAP build is also there. So this is the conclusion. The more SAP succeeds in, in its cloud strategy, the more customers would be using BTP and SAP build. In a span of two years, I think, this is my understanding. By 2025, when the cloud re revenue of SAP reaches 21.5 billion, almost my understanding is 60 to 70 percent of SAP customers would be on cloud and then using BTP and the SAP build. So SAP would be in completely at a peak um, uh, importance. It will go bigger and bigger. And this is the right time to learn it for both technical and functional consultants. You can ask any questions in the chat. I'll see that in a while. Now, benefits of cloud. I don't spend much time on this as I understand this is at a high level and um, people who are in the uh, session looks like basically technical and functional consultants. And it is uh, at people who want to have a big picture for them, it is relevant. Faster innovation, staying relevant in the market. We have seen uh, uh, what happened during COVID and the example. And we also know uh, what happened with, what is happening with um, Generative AI, Joule. On uh, cloud-based platforms, it's easy. Quickly, they can get it done. And the subscription model, this is very important because it's not anymore the classic way of uh, one-time sale revenue of a software. Subscri when you are on cloud, you are paying on every single month. Well, that's uh, what you are doing with um, Amazon subscription, for example. So investors of SAP, everyone, whoever has the share um, shares of uh, SAP, love that because this is sustainable um, and uh, assured revenue for longer period of times. Now, competitive advantage for SAP. And finally, vendor lock-in, for sure. Once you are on cloud, you, uh, the customer is on cloud. And for them, SAP is forever. Even the CEO of the company wants to go to another ERP. I don't think it is easily possible for two reasons. One, when you are on cloud, you are not only using SAP S4 HANA system, I mean, for ERP purposes, you are also using many other integrated services of SAP and BTP. So it's uh, difficult to get it of them. And also the data is on cloud and it would be difficult to migrate the data from cloud to another ERP provider, if at all you want to go. So vendor lock-in, SAP would be there forever. Maybe that's a strategy for SAP. Now, what are the challenges? Everything is good. SAP is betting big on cloud, but what are the challenges? Yes, there are two main challenges. One is integrations, and the second one is upgrades. Listen, integrations. For example, any customer, they don't not they don't just use SAP. They also use many other applications for different purposes of the business. Now, in the last 10 years, 15 years, or 20, 30 years, those customers invested hundreds of thousands and millions of thousands, or maybe um, yes, years of time integrating their SAP application with all other associated applications. Now, if you want to move to cloud, what about those investments? That's a big challenge. Then they need to address that issue. The second one is upgrades. See, maybe the customers now, when they are on-premise, they go for upgrades maybe once in three years or five years. But we know that during the upgrade, it takes a month or two months and still many things break. We do regress testing. These are breaking because of the custom code. So what happens after um, we move to cloud, the customers move on to cloud. There would not be any customer specific upgrades. It's like your mobile phone. On a specific day, specific time, let's say, for example, December 31st, 12 a.m. in the night, click on a button, boom. All other, all customers, 
will be upgraded to the next version. Now the point is, is it possible when um, th there is a lot of custom code within your um, uh, application? No. As if you can't uh, do the upgrade upgrades just like that because it may break the custom code or custom code may break the upgrade. So what is the solution for that? The solution is BTP. Yes, the solution is BTP. And for, for um, addressing the integrations issue, they have integration suite on BTP. Integration suite is much flexible. And the point is um, there are pre-built connectors and the, uh, you can connect your application with any third party applications just like that. And for upgrades, the solution is keep the core clean again keep the core clean here is where we talk about in this context we talk about sap build now what is keeping the core clean let's see that clean core is the approach where the core system when i say the core system it's i am referring to sap s4 hana system remains as standard and as untouched possible as standard and untouched as possible what does it mean it doesn't get into mind it is just a like a philosophy the point is you shouldn't modify way you, you should not modify any standard code to fulfill your requirement except wherever there are bodies that's what sap is saying please note even if it is i'll come to that um, after a while and clean core there are multiple dimensions it's not only extensions when i say extensions i'm talking about modifications in the code or maybe um, coming up with other uh, new processes on s4 hana system so extensibility data okay let me take a razor yeah Extensibility, data, integrations, processes, operations. There are um, multiple dimensions. We don't get into those details. We focus mo mostly on extensibility. We discussed on integrations briefly. Now, how to achieve clean core? Just for clarity sake again. Extensibility, modifying the standard code. How, why do we do that? To fulfill our requirement. Now, the point is, Without modifying the code, how do you fulfill your requirement? We'll discuss that in a while. Now, for extensibility for modifications, there are two options. On stack, side by side. What is on stack? On stack is on your on-premise S4 HANA system, or basically your S4 HANA system, uh, either it is on-premise or on cloud, your S4 HANA system. This is on stack. This is one, uh, one way of it to uh, do your all extensions or wherever uh, you need to have a different process. And this is on BTP. This is called side by side extension. Just uh, the summary in a sentence. To modify your code, the pro to fulfill your requirement um, in the process, there are two options. One is on stack extensions, second one is side by side extensions. On stack extensions, is on, uh, on the application S4 on application and side-by-side -side extensions on BTP platform for the same S4 HANA system. You do the change here, but that gets reflected here. That's a point. Now, SAP says classic extensibility with above development tools is not clean core. Please note that this is very important because if you still continue um, modifying uh, the uh, processes, following the classic above development tools, then your system is, system is not cloud ready anymore. When you want to move to the cloud, it would be a big trouble. Please uh, don't think that um, your company doesn't move to cloud. My understanding is every company at one point in time, maybe let's say 90% of companies will obviously move to cloud Maybe it takes time. People, um, for, uh, it takes time for the people to get accustomed to the change and understand the things that are happening in the external world. For them, it may take a bit uh, late, but it would be there. It will happen for sure. Now, your objective is 
to keep the clone um, key uh, core clean and keep the ensure that your application is cloud ready by following uh, side by side extensions now how do you do the side by side extensions i take a small break here maybe there may be questions before getting into these details because this one um, picture this one image explains everything about three things what is a uh, clean core because um, you see here this is um, uh, this one is on stack you see SP sap s4 hana this is on stack extensions and this one is btp extensions okay so let me take a quick um, not break let me go back to the chart if at all there are any questions then i'll come back and explain this okay no questions that's um people if you have questions please ask me so again let's come back this one as you see here uh, this part is um sap has for ana making the changes using the key user extensibility tools this is perfectly all right uh this is part of clean core and the developer extensibility tools we need to discuss that and wherever the bodies are that's perfectly all right and even if user exits are not part of clean core yes i know that the purpose of user exits is to modify the code wherever is required to shoot the business requirements but still we know that many times um, the code that is there in user exits breaks the um, upgrade or upgrade breaks the code and sap says that's also not advisable this is on s4 hana on stack and for btp as you see here you see there is a lot of scope in fact for uh, both functional and uh, technical doing many things when even without writing a single line of code for example to automate the process across um, uh, backend systems you have sap build to process automation the, as you see this is um, here green color you see green is for functional people of course developer also can use it when i say functional whatever the functional can use developer on, per also can use that the point is you don't need to write a code now to build web applications and mobile applications there are two ways one is build apps where you need not to write a single line of code and the second one is build code you see sap build is very big sap build is very big sap build, within sap build there is, there is sap build process automation and there is build apps and there is build code this is build okay let me take a pen this is build code this is build code and build within build code there is jewel you know that last month during ticket sap announced jewel which creates the code for you just by uh, taking instructions from you and creates an application and we follow cloud application programming model in uh, build code and there is sap mobile services to build mobile applications and once the service is built for sap um, uh, you follow either freestyle sap ui5 or templates fury element templates please note if the functional consultants need not to worry when i use these are technical terms seemingly technical terms that's not a big deal um we'll we'll discuss that in detail but just uh, be happy and relax or if you have any question please put that in the chat now there is um, uh, another option using uh, to build applications web applications and mobile applications using above programming um, uh, model wrap but um, uh, we are not going to discuss that part 